Well, good morning, Yellow Army, and welcome to another interview here on official TUFC TV. Today, I'm joined by another of our new recruits this summer, and he's already proven very popular with the Yellow Army. It is Tom Lapsley. How are you doing, Tom? Morning. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Now, of course, you've been at uh, Colchester for quite some time, so this will be a bit of a new experience for you this summer. How are you settling into life on the English Riviera? Yeah, and I'm I'm loving it, to be fair. Um, I think it helps that we've all moved into the lodge together, as few of us, um, new lads. So it's easy to let it settle in. And obviously all the bad boys that have been here before have all made us all feel welcome. And um, yeah, it's nothing like uh, getting to know your team when the games start coming around. So I'm, uh, we're all jumping at a bit, really, to get going on Saturday. Is there a bit of banter flying around the Gold's Lodge at the moment? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all quite good, to be fair. It's all, all harmless. And, you know, we all sit down together and watch a bit of telly together in the evenings and stuff. So, um, yeah, we're all getting on well. So that must help the bonding process. It must be quite uh, an unusual experience where you, because there's a number of new players that are brought in. But uh, do you think that's helping as well with the camaraderie and all that? Yeah, definitely. I think especially majority of us in here are all new lads and um, obviously righty. So, We've got Righty to sort of uh, look after us and keep an eye on all of us, I think. And um, I think that first few days, especially where we're all new boys going into a new changing room, I think it helped that we'd all sort of spent the night together here before on the mon- uh, on the Sunday night before we had training on a Monday. And um, we got to know each other a little bit before we went in. So we wasn't all completely new going into a brand new changing room. So um, I think it certainly helped. Good. Now, can you just tell us, Tom, how did the move to Talk United come about? Uh, well, to be fair, it was sort of, just before the um, pre-season started and mm-hmm. the gaffer um, called me and I'd had a couple other options as well and uh, I was sort of weighing it all up and the gaffer sort of basically gave me a 24-hour ultimatum. Um, <laughs> but I spoke to the gaffer, I spoke to uh, Downsy and um, and Wrighty and to be fair, it's sort of, once I had the conversations, it was, you know, it was a no-brainer that I, I wanted to come down here and uh, sign it. What do you think was the main reason for you joining Talk United? Uh, I think, like the gaffer had outlined, that you know it's a it's a strong squad, um, and that you know we'd be going going for it again, and feeling that I felt uh, sorry that they felt that I would add value to the club and to the team. Um, so it was nice to feel that you know they'd they'd, they'd had plans to put me into the side and um, that I could add and help the squad. Um, so yeah, it was just it was a nice conversation that I had with the gaffer, and it, it was probably the. Uh, the main swaying point for me, uh, me coming down here. And to be fair, I haven't looked back and I've loved it every minute since I've been here. And I'm hoping to kick off a good game on Saturday and three points and hopefully another 45 of them to follow. Now, you've already uh, been uh, making uh, yourself known on the pitch, uh, especially in the games at Playmore. Have you enjoyed those matches and playing at uh, the home stadium for the first time? Yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously you know a good crowd and good stadium and you know something that we've not had for eighteen months. I think we've played in front of fans once for, since then. I think obviously yourselves, you've had the, the playoffs, so had a little bit of a taster um, with the playoffs. Whereas you know, I've, I've not really had that. So to have, have fans back in the stadium again, making some noise and cheering the boys on, it, it's a massive help. And yeah, no, it's been it's a lovely pitch, a really nice stadium. So I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday now. You look like a, a very committed individual when you're out on that field. Did anyone tell you that they were pre-season friendly? So? <laughs> uh, no, every time you cross the white line, it ain't a friendly. Um, no, I've always been brought up to play the same way. And uh, that's if, if you dangle a leg, you get injured. So you make sure you go through him. Otherwise, uh, you're the one get on the receiving end of an injury. So, yeah, I've always tried to sort of give it my all every single time I train and play. So, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I can get little knocks here and there from that. But... Yeah, I'm a firm believer that if, if you're the one dangling the leg, you're the one that ends off worse off. So, yeah, no friendlies, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear. Now, um, also nice, of course, that you got in the uh, score sheet against Bournemouth. You went close a couple of times before and uh, before our final the back, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's something that I've always felt I could do, but at Colchester, it was always, I was always required to do the more defensive job um, and sort of mopping up and sweeping up where the others attackers go forward. So, um something I felt like I've always been able to do, go, you know, be a box-to-box player. Um, and I think the gaff has sort of encouraged me to do a little bit more since I've been here, um, which I'm, I'm loving, to be fair. I, I feel like my best asset is the fact that I can run. So why not use that to try and get some goals as well as help defend? So, um, yeah, the gaff has encouraged me to get forward a little bit more. So I'm hoping to sort of uh, add a few goals to, my, uh, to the tally this season. 
No, that'd be fantastic. Now, although you mentioned that you didn't get on the score sheet too many times due to your time at Colchester, of course, you did have uh, an interesting cup tie against Tottenham Hotspur, in which you scored the uh, winning penalty. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that, Tom? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was probably one of the best moments the club's had in years, to be fair. that It was, uh, it was a bit of a surreal experience, that cup run, really. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the penalties are a bit mad, but we, we put a hell of a shift in, you know, that day. Um, sat in, tried to keep it as low, low, you know, low scores and low chances as we could. And the boys played really well. And we managed to obviously get a nil-nil draw and penalties anyone can win. And um, yeah, I was cramping up a little bit. Um, but then when I went over to the huddle, the, the gaffer had already sorted out four penalty takers and I was, I was desperate to have one. So I just said to the assistant, I was like, I'll, I'll have it. And he was like, you're right to go number five. And I said, yeah, no problem. Um, and just, you know, Lux would have it that we went down to the fifth penalty and then Lucas Moura hit the bar. So it, it gave me the opportunity to to try and uh, <laughs> put a winning penalty away, which was an, a nice, nice experience. And, you know, sort of, bit, you know, it was good scenes after that and all the fans on the pitch. And, you know, I ultimately ended up, we getting a chance to play at Old Trafford in the quarterfinal of the League Cup, which, you know, is a, is a huge honour. I'm sure all that experience will put you in good stead for the, for the season and the challenges that we have ahead. Now, with you being a, as a pro at Colchester for for six years, and obviously a, in the youth team before that, it, are you seeing this chance at playing more as, as a fresh start, a, a new beginning almost? Um, not necessarily a new beginning, but it's you know it's another and it's a step in a, in my career, and it's something I'm really enjoying at the moment. Um, it's nice to be in a squad, that, you know. It's a, that's got a winning mentality and a team that's, you know, looking upwards um, and, you know, demands in training are, are massive. And if anyone's not pulling their weight, then you've got uh, boys are on their case. So it's uh, it's something I'm, I'm really enjoying at the moment. And I'm hoping that for the rest of the season, we can demand that enough out of each other to, to pick up the wins. And ultimately, you know, we're, we're all here to try and get promoted. The first day of the football season, whatever division you're in, is it's a really exciting time for any football fan. Is it? Is it just as exciting for those inside the dressing room? Yeah, yeah, you can't wait. To be fair, it's all what all the horrible running and days of feeling rough makes it makes it all worthwhile when you get to you know three o'clock on a Saturday and that whistle goes. So it's um it's all what preseason builds up to, um and yeah, it's always you know it's the old the old cliche. The, the next game is the most important one, so. At the moment, the next game is the first game of the season, which we're all raring to go and hoping to kick off the season with a good result. And finally, Tom, um, just before you go, it, it's a big bonus to have the first game of the season at home. What message have you got for the Yellow Army ahead of Saturday's fixture? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like you say, starting the season at home is a massive advantage, I think. And, you know, I think we'll see a good side that are, are coming here. So, you know, we need the fans behind us and we'll be giving everything we can to try and get a result and hopefully the fans can respond to that and in times throughout the season I know you know you can't get 46 games of perfect football I'm afraid so there'll be times where we're going to need them to push us on so uh, just to stick with us and yeah I can guarantee that all the boys be giving it a roll and um, hopefully we can start off well with a win. Brilliant Tom well thank you for taking the time to join us today we should the very best of luck for Saturday's fixture and uh, Yellow Army thank you for joining us and we'll speak to you all again very very soon.